it's literally impossible. So we got a call for an RV that found a soft section of planet Earth and sunk down in it up here near New Harmony. So we're gonna head up and see if we can get it back on the road. It's a beautiful day today, but very hot. It was like 105 degrees, but we're gonna get it out. We got the wrecker back there. No, that's not the wrecker, that's Colby. It's my first RV recovery. Let's see how this is done. He said he just pulled off of his driveway or something. It's not very far off the road. I don't even know if this is really an off-road recovery, but we do have the equipment to do it, so we took the job. There it is, right there. Can we do it with blue steel? <laughs> yeah, let's go see. Good, how are you doing? <laughs> I will get that out of there. I just think the back wheels are high centered and it's spinning. Okay. Does that step go up? No, it, it's stuck. I had the door open when I went to pull it out, and it's stuck. Okay. So I don't think we're going to unload the wrecker. I think we're going to back blue steel in the trailer in here. We're going to hook up to the front structure, and we're just going to ease nice and slow right onto right in here. So, Liz, you want to get the keys yep. and get yourself... Okay. Do you have the keys for it? Keys are in ignition. I've never driven a motor home before. Well, there's always a first. All right. This is a job for blue steel, so we're using blue steel's recovery equipment. Okay, can you turn your wheels a little to the right? Will it do it? Nope. Okay, you know how to take the brakes off? Has this got air brakes? I don't think so. Parking brake is off. Okay. So put it in neutral for now. There's so much of nothing to hook to on these. Okay. There's these goat heads all over the place. Oh, yes. If you don't live in a place with goat heads, let me show you. So these are goat heads. And the reason they call them goat heads, when you break them apart, because they break apart, then you've got this little, this little goat head looking thing. And they lay down like this. There's no way they can lay without sticking straight up. Anyway, they're all over the ground here. One on your arm. Yeah, there, one's right there. So if you hear me screaming and sobbing, it's because I'm, being stabbed by goat heads. Man, this thing is right down on the ground. This has a big old beam front to front axle. And so we're just going right around that. It's literally impossible. You're just gonna have to use a little bit of your imagination. I'm gonna wanna hook here as low as possible. That still might be right here. We'll see how this looks. See how much pressure it puts up on the, on the thing. So you're definitely not gonna wanna spin. As you come up, you're gonna wanna turn your wheels in line with the rope. You're gonna be giving it a tiny bit of gas, but not not till the rope goes tight and then just super tiny. No wheel spinning, no revving, nothing. Now it doesn't matter what I'm doing, you're definitely not spinning, even if I am. and you're gonna drive it out here. Turn sharp this way. I'm gonna put it up right on the blacktop until I get my RV garage cleared out.
That went a little better than I expected. What about you? Yeah, it was pretty good. I saw the rope tighten a lot and stretch a lot. This is really heavy. Yeah, I heard But it, it did it. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Holy smokes. Yeah. Ish. Yeah, definitely stuck. Okay, here's your favorite part. What's that? What size of shirt do you want? I will be wearing it when I go out in the dunes. <laughs> we went up okay. to the weekend before. There you cool. go. Cool. All right. Did you get your shirt? Yeah, I got my shirt. Awesome. Okay. Right, well, thank sir. you much. You thank you much. Head. I appreciate it. Like I said, that wasn't really off road, but we did have the equipment to get it out. The customer's happy and we're happy. It was quick and easy. It wasn't off road, but it was definitely stuck. Put blue steel to the test. Yeah, old blue steel was bearing down. About the time it just started to lose traction, that's when the RV just popped up. It had to go straight up. Yeah. It went straight up. On hot days like this, I got my Matt's Offered Recovery water bottle to keep me cool. You can get your own at mattsofferedrecovery.com. All right, we got the wrecker unloaded because we have got to send blue steel up to Robbie's to get a new flatbed put on it and some other stuff. So I'm gonna send Hefe and Greg up. Robbie just called me and he's actually heading out on recovery. He's not even gonna be there when Hefe drops it off, but Blue Steel is in desperate need of some upgrades. So go drop it off. Okay. Lizzie, let's get out of this heat. Sounds good, it's hot. Greg and I are here at Leighton Auto Bodies to drop off the truck because Blue Steel is in long need of some tender loving care. The record games are a little hard on it. I, I think you can remember Paul. <laughs> I shot at the passenger side headlight. We did kind of fix the mirror, but it needs to replace. And then, of course, the bed is just beat up. There's somebody dropped something off a forklift on it right there. It's seen better days. The whole bumper got ripped off. So we're gonna put a custom flatbed on this, a new bumper, all the body work and get it uh, looking nice so we can be proud to drive it. It's almost at 200,000 miles. And also we've had this bumper from Flog on here for like months now. And it's time to get some powder coating on it. I think it looks pretty cool like that, but. That's got a nice patina to it, doesn't it? So we got a call from a guy that's got a disabled side-by-side. -side. The machine like works, but they can't keep it running. So we're gonna drive out there and find him, go pick him up and haul him back to the yard. It is awesome today. It's about 80 degrees right now, sunny, no clouds. Perfect day for recovery. Gas tank's reading three quarter. I thought about stopping and filling up more as a science experiment to see how this gauge works. I don't know if it goes up or down when you add gas. I have no idea what three quarters means, but we're just gonna go for it. I'm trying to remember if I've ever driven this with a trailer on the back, the off-road trailer, and I think the answer is no, but we'll get them out. All right, that's a level eight, and I guess it's the easiest way in there, so that's what we're gonna try and do. I think we spotted the customer standing up here. I don't see his rig yet, but we're gonna keep heading up the trail. Looks like there was some bypasses for the major obstacles, so we're taking all of those we can find. This is, we're, we're on the pin. Oh, he's pointing down into the, oh. Oh, oh, oh dude, we just got another guy here not long ago. Right? And that's the way we went out, and that's why that looked familiar. So there was another razor job we did here not too long ago. He's just past where we found that other razor, so we'll try and back down there and load him up. I might check it out from up here. Let's walk down there and yeah. see if it's better to get him from the bottom or the top. Okay. This is gonna test my off-road trailer backing skills. This doesn't look too bad. I think we can drive up this <laughs> with that thing on the back, maybe. All right. What if we hook onto him and pull him to like here and then try to load further up. Cause I think it might be a little tricky to load. If I get it right here, that back end of that trailer is gonna be super high and those ramps are gonna be coming down. Yeah, super steep. I gotta see what there is to hook onto the back of the trailer or we just put a, a tie down strap or a 
the rope all the way over. What yeah. we got on the back? You got a good point? Yeah, we have a good point right here. All right. Yeah, let's pull him up to like right here. And then I'll get the trailer right back in there. Yeah. I think it'll pull right up because all the wheels are on. We have the benefit this time of having all four wheels on the Razor, which we normally don't have. <laughs> so this will be really nice. I do hear that backing this thing is awful. good Tom we're gonna hook up this rope from the front of the trailer to the razor and we're gonna try and pull the razor up here like 20 or 30 feet just to get it in a better spot to load and then we'll park it and uh, use the winch to pull it on the trailer so apparently you have to charge batteries and we have a battery here that we have neglected to charge so we have a jump box that we're gonna use and we're trying to save it as much as possible. So we're gonna pull this out with the Mount Trough Road Recovery Rope. We'll jump box to this guy. I know there's a ton of people that have told us to use Anderson cables to make a charging port on the back of the Jeep, and we should do that, but we haven't. Maybe someday. This is going great so far. So far. All right, we're gonna have to steer him pretty hard to the right to get him to pivot onto these. Careful, Jake. Yeah, don't fall off those. Matt took a spill off one one time. Oh, oh no. yeah. He tried to walk down the ramp and it didn't go well. How can I help you get out? I'm good. I will be okay. Well, he kind of woke up on the ground wondering what hit him. You got a song for us? Not anymore. Red it's... is on the left, black is on the right. <laughs> doesn't have that same ring. It doesn't. Let's see you try, Tom. Red is by my head, black is by Jake. There you go. Hard left. Hard yeah. left or full off. I'm going to let you out a little bit. Try okay. and turn right right now really quick. Okay. I'm going to let you out. Gotcha. Yeah. So go left, a little bit. Keep it right where it's at. I think you're at a good angle. Back ones are on. Yeah. Keep steering a little bit to your left. Right there. Golden. Yeah, we, we can try and bounce it. I'd like it to go a little bit over to that side. You can pull, I'll turn push. I'll get over on your these, side. So these I knobbies, it might, it might not slip. It's because that lip on the trailer. Yeah, let's try though. One, two, three. Dude, you're a beast. <laughs> nice. That's perfect. This thing ain't going anywhere. The banana is pretty impressive. We've got all that weight on the back and it's still just climbing up pretty extreme obstacles with no problem. Just another day in the office. The trailer is impressive. The trailer is impressive. Oh yeah, you got this. Okay, not the way we came in, but a good way out. 
So this is the end of the road for this one. The customer is going to come grab it from here and it'll be on its way. You got him back. Thanks for watching. I think it'll be great. I'm yeah. just going to try to back it. Yeah. And if I totally hose it, we'll cut all this out and yeah. then I'll drive it around. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll edit it and make it look like we just. Like I nailed it first yep. shot. Yep. Okay. Nice.